guys were very rude yesterday. Very, very mean. But what's to be expected in today's day? Hate definitely is winning over love and support. You guys definitely proved my theory. I knew what I was doing putting that video out yesterday. I'm not like other YouTubers that don't watch their content before they upload it. And unfortunately, a lot of you guys proved my theory to the T. And I'm going to tell you why. Dixie, they want to cancel us. What do you think about that? Must be some animal haters as well. Because I love Dixie no matter what. And I know she loves me no matter what. Even if my opinion may not be the same, I still support. But they want to get rid of us, Dixie. Good luck with that. So clearly I've got a lot to say. Definitely can't do it on one video because a lot of you peons can't watch a video for more than about three or five minutes because your fucking brains are filled with baby diarrhea. So I'm gonna be making multiple videos. And for those that like to announce that they're unsubbing, I'm unsubbing. I don't give a fuck. You don't get paid on YouTube for subs, you fucking morons. You get paid for views, views ad revenue it's called so guess what unsub because i know that your petty little ass is still gonna watch anyway and i'm gonna make my ad revenue if you thought this video was gonna be an apology boy you definitely don't know who the fuck i am but i am going to be telling you exactly what i learned about that video and a lot of the comments that were dropped on that video and the people behind the comments now, obviously there are some people that reached into their pants, reached around and said, wow, I'm a big tough guy on the comments. People that I supported, people that I put out on a video and gave love to, you know who you are and guess what? You're gonna be exposed. One of them right off the top is going to be Inkslinger who has about 70 subs. Well, guess what, Inkslinger? I'm one of those subs. And later on today, I am going to be unsubbing your sorry ass channel live. Now, I literally read every comment. I was literally a part of every live that was spoken about me. So I know what everybody's been talking about. So getting back to yesterday's uh, test video, where my theory about infiltration in comments, especially AMC, and if some of you are smart enough to know this, a lot of you are not, clearly. Um, there's really no other stock that gets talked about more than AMC. Nobody wants to think about why. Nobody knows the answer why. Anybody talking about GME? Yeah, you might have a few, but as many as are talking about AMC on YouTube and commenting about AMC on YouTube? Sure. Folks, our social media platforms have been infiltrated to so doubt in almost every space imaginable. I believe it's outside influence. And what fitting time that I did that video that Elon Musk came out this morning and said he's going to buy Twitter or he would like to buy Twitter. Um, that's funny. Somebody made a comment about that that I read and they said, you want to buy a platform that is filled with bots that are just there to sow doubt in people's minds. For those real people that are in those comments, and you know who you are, some of you were video challengers. Let me just tell you something. Your mind is just filled with so much baby caca that you actually read these comments and you jump on the bandwagon of whatever they say. Man, you guys should look in the mirror now and say to yourself, am I really that weak? Only one person or one YouTuber yesterday that I watched that spoke about my video covered me objectively froggy styles thank you very much the person that you were on live with i think he's mediocre trader or whatever the hell he's a bandwagoner 
he was just wanting to kind of jump on what the pot he's one of those that will fall for the comment infiltration bandwagon group and misrepresented what i said multiple times in that live so i'll be talking about that too buddy sorry you definitely got it wrong froggy styles you were very objective i noticed that when he was wrong you kind of just didn't say anything because he's he's a guest on your live uh but thank you very much that's exactly how if you're a real person and you're smart that was exactly how you cover someone else's video that was highly scrutinized there was another youtuber that kind of covered me yesterday somebody that i've promoted before and i've shouted out i haven't really dissected how that person covered me and spoke about me i know it wasn't in the best light i know they were taking a very passive aggressive approach kind of like well you know what i think he was emotional blah, 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 but he's a good guy but i can't believe this that and the other i'm going to re-watch it a couple times uh, i will call it out if i think that it was inappropriate uh, but i will be watching that i'm not going to call you out by name currently so going back to common inf infiltration and you know what one of the next movements should be is to sh all youtubers should shut off comments because you don't even get paid for it and the big problem in what we're trying to do as a community um, in this stock and in other meme stocks is that we're allowing bots to kind of poison uh, our minds and kind of sway our thoughts because if enough bots are saying something then the real people that are also reading the comments they jump on board because they're just not equipped mentally to really kind of dissect uh, what a bot is and uh, what they shouldn't be jumping on board with and you know a, a youtuber with a small channel hold on man. so I was as I was saying there was an, another youtuber that I called out uh, about maybe a couple months ago in a positive manner he has a very small channel I know he's trying to grow his channel his name's Tanko Native. He tried to point this out about AMC and about the bots and stuff like that. And he just got hung for it basically because basically what you real commenters are doing, you're jumping on the bandwagon of what the bots are saying. And then you're also jumping on the uh, cancel this person out because of them. Um, so for instance, I noticed also he kind of changed his stance on AMC because he realized if I don't cheerlead, then what happens is I won't get looked at. So basically what you guys are doing for the real people that are joining with the bot infiltration, what you're basically doing is you're canceling out anyone that has an opinion about AMC, even if, even if you're not going to argue uh, the points that the person is, is making, you just want them to be silenced. So basically what you're saying is you only want one message regardless of what the truth might be you only one want you only want one message to be put out so basically you're forcing youtubers to kind of only speak in one direction and that's incorrect in my book you shouldn't be controlling anybody and anybody's opinion everyone's entitled to their opinion i think all of you got something incorrect yesterday you thought it was emotionally based that's not john wick sniping John Wick Snipen pointed out to you in a previous video, and if you actually follow me and you actually have seen my videos and seen where I'm coming from, you would have known that I'm just a passionate person uh, with respects to what I am involved in, but in no way does my passion skew my judgment. So everything that I did yesterday was in full line with what I was trying to do. It was not emotionally based or anything like that. I wasn't out. Listen, okay? If I know, if I believe it's not gonna squeeze, okay, that doesn't make me get on camera and get frustrated and I said it was not going to squeeze. That's my opinion. And guess what? As a shareholder of a thousand AMC shares, which is about 10 times the uh, amount of the average shareholder, I'm gonna speak my mind. I'm entitled to it, I'm an owner. Okay, and just because I don't think that a rigged system is going to pay us out trillions of dollars, that doesn't mean that I'm not holding the stock. I'm still going to hold the stock, but it's all based on what I've been saying all along. And that is I'm here because of the fear of missing out. That's it. 
for the small chance that I'm wrong, I'm going to still hold that stock because guess what? You're right. The only thing you got right is that I'm not going to be able to handle if I sell out of this stock, not yet at least, if I sell out of this stock and then it runs up crazy. I don't think that's going to happen, but I'm still not going to sell because I'd rather not have to witness that situation than just listen to you clowns and just hold. But one thing's for sure. You ain't going to control John Wick Snipen's narrative. You're not going to do that. That's for sure. Because for as many of the AMC people that turned their back on me, S all the SBFM people opened their arms up and said, you know what? You have a good point. And you know what? Unbeknownst to me, I checked stock twits the, uh, last night and people were sharing yesterday's video, congratulating me. Okay. And if you don't believe it, Go look up ticker symbol SBFM on stock twits and you'll see what real support is. Because let me tell you something for you fake ass motherfuckers. Let me just tell you something real clear. When you cheerlead, you motherfuckers don't even support. Yesterday's video got five times the amount that I usually get when I spoke the way that I spoke about AMC. You'll support that, but a cheerleader, you're not supporting those people. So stop kidding you and stop kidding everybody else. Those that supported me on stock twits, that was unsolicited support and that's how you do it. Just like when I presented the video challenge, I gave those people unsolicited support. They didn't ask me, they didn't, they didn't speak to me about it or anything, but I graciously put them on my platform and congratulated them. But guess what? To, later today, I'm making a video for each person that turned their back on me that I supported. You are losing my sub. Number one, you're not getting my support anymore. And I'm going to call you out for being a person that would rather hate on somebody instead of taking an objective position and saying, hey, listen, I disagree with you. I respect I'm not unsubbing because it's silly. Um, that doesn't even matter. I'm not trying to hurt you, uh, but I disagree with you. And these are the reasons why. No, there were some of you that just are drawn to hate. And then you dress yourself up and you go to church with that attitude, sir. You ain't no fucking religious person in my book. I will say that the YouTubers actually, from what it seems like, with the exception of one that I'm still evaluating, number one, they were supportive. I got a lot of messages, especially private messages that said, hey, listen, man, we're here for you. We support you, CS Trades. That was one of the guys, the Wolf Pack. They're all in support of me. They support me. They may not agree with me totally, but they know what I'm saying is correct. And if you didn't see Froggy Styles live yesterday, go watch it. Froggy almost, I would say what, four out of six reasons, maybe five out of six reasons that I pointed out, he agreed with, he agreed with. Unfortunately, some of you are so just ill-equipped mentally, and it's like I can't blame somebody for just not having enough mentally to really suss things out. Some of you guys, you know, it would literally like be, it would literally be like kicking a dog and saying, why can't you talk? That's how ill equipped some of you are. <laughs> the funny thing is, at no point in a very long time have I ever agreed that this was going to uh, squeeze. The only difference that I did yesterday was not include the word organic. This will not happen organically. Yesterday, I didn't use that word because I am of the belief that in a rigged system and which we haven't gotten paid on any of the meme stocks, none of them have gone to the moon. OK, the best case scenario has been GameStop, and that's the one where we caught them with their pants down. They've been prepared for all the other moves. They've been prepared for AMC all along. They are not going to let it go. They've obviously been cheating it, didn't you? You didn't see that when we ran up to 34 <clears throat> and they stopped it and, and brought us back down. And you think you're going to get paid from a rig system, trillions of dollars. Okay. The point I made about the other stock was not to pitch it, but unfortunately, because hate always wins over love, people would rather put out negativity than positivity or actually digest what I'm saying and, and understand it. My point in talking about that stock was to say that AMC is just too big uh, of a stock. It's too big of a stock. The float is too big. It's too, it's too big of a spread in order to expose what we're trying to expose. 
SBFM is a smaller size sample that can be done immediately, bought up, and then you could really see where the corruption is. But because you've got so many things that you can't account for in AMC, day traders, the options chain, the float, um, the uh, infiltration in the comment section of uh, trying to sow doubt, you can't, we can't expose it. That's why we've been chasing our tail for over a year with a smaller sized company with a sh heavy short interest. I think it's 40% in SBFM with a 7 million share float with no options chain. That's the one that you do the example for. And like I said, if anybody calls us out for collusion, that's good. You want that to happen because then you want to talk about everything. You want to be able to say, okay, well, yeah, we did do that. We didn't know better, but why explain to us why in this stock, um, you guys were colluding in order to not have this uh, squeeze happen in AMC. So that, you know, that's the thing. It's tough to reach you guys because you're just not equipped. You're not equipped mentally. So they stopped us at 34, brought us back down. With GameStop, they took away the buy button. But you expect for this to squeeze and get paid. Listen, I at no point have ever disagreed with the theory, with the theory that is in play, that there's being we're being cheated at AMC. I've never disagreed with that theory. I've only ever told you guys that this rig system is not going to pay you out. We're going to need action by either <clears throat> the, the uh, video challenge is still on. I'm going to have the mass lawyer remove some of you uh, fakers. Okay. That's what you are. You're a faker. You proved that yesterday. Um, that's going to be the first step, but that could go, that could fall on deaf ears. The next step will be to create a movement to exit the stock market completely and see what that uncovers. But if you think this is going to squeeze and you get paid, I'm not doubting the theory. I am doubting that you're going to get paid from a rigged system that's controlled by people that have a lot of money and they're not going to give it to the middle and lower class. When will you get that through your fucking head? Because when you get that through your head, that's when we can really band together and take action. So yes, this is a long video. If you watch it, I don't give a shit. If you, if you don't, I don't give a shit either. Likelihood is you're gonna watch it because you're drawn to controversy. And for those that announced that you're unsubbed, what are you doing back here? Why are you watching? You're back? I bet you won't comment now because I know exactly who you are. I wrote everything down. I look into everything. But I'm going to leave you with that. I'm, you're not getting any more fun. You're not going to be looking at my fucking dog and being hating on me. I'm not giving you that pleasure of the enjoyment for you. Okay? So you don't get Dixie time anymore. Uh, but I've got a lot more coming. A lot. This was just a little taste for you little haters. John Wick sniping is out.